Hey Village! So it's been a while since we've had an update. Uh, not a whole lot has been going on, but I am going to take you along uh, for my day. I'll show you something from a distance, what I worked on yesterday that's exciting. So as you know, we did new family portraits. We've been posting those on our Instagram, but also uh, it was time to update our family gallery wall. So I'm going to show it at a distance so we don't see any like faces specifically, uh, but this is our family, our family photo wall and it had all the pictures from our last photo shoot a year ago, and it was time to update those. So yesterday I went ahead and selected all the pictures. We have some of the old ones still up, of course, um, but it's just nice to see like our family growing. And as I make lunch and jump on a meeting real quick, I am gonna tell you guys about what we're doing for our foster teen, Miss A, as it pertains to driving, because when you foster teens, uh, kind of like a, a milestone, depending on where you live and like, what your area is like um, is driving. And so it's a topic we've kind of talked about previously. We haven't given a whole lot of details just because you know we didn't have them and uh, we wanted to work with her parents to see uh, what they would want. So today we're gonna talk a lot about that. Okay, while I talk about this, I am gonna be preparing my lunch, um, which also is gonna double as my dinner. Um, so I have some salmon fillets that I'm gonna put some seasoning on and asparagus. So we live in Ohio and our foster teen, like I said, Miss A, um, is how we refer to her because we keep her identity and all the details of her family's case private um, and confidential. So she is 15 and a half and Ohio's driving rule for teens is that at 15 and a half, a uh, teen can get their temporary permit, which means that, you know, basically they, you know, go with their parent or guardian and they, uh, take a quick test and that allows them to drive with their, I think it's either their parent or any adult over 21. Um, I'll have to double check that. I'm pretty sure it's any adult over 21. And there's certain restrictions and, and stuff like that, but we've had like many conversations with Miss A. Um, she was going back and forth, you know, if she really wanted to uh, get her temporary license, um, if she wanted to maybe wait until she was 18. If you are between the age of 16 and 18, um, you have to go through driving school and that is expensive. So she was going back and forth on like, you know, one, if it was necessary, if she needed to have her license before she was 18, if she wanted to have her license before she was 18. Um, and then also just logistically, you know, what it would look like. Once she was kind of on board, um, she also talked with her parents to see, you know, how they felt. And just like normal teen stuff, like would they, you know, what she would be responsible for when she did get a car, um, like would they help her with that, would they help her with insurance, like all of those, you know, important decisions. And, you know, because Miss A is nearing reunification, most of those uh, decisions and the implications are going to be with um, her parents. So John and I want to help as much as possible while she's with us to give her a head start. Um, so right now, where we are is that she did decide that she wants to uh, go ahead and move forward with the uh, driver's ed class. Uh, she wants to get her temporary permit so that, you know, after the six months of having that temporary permit when she's, you know, older than 16, she can then get her driver's license. And Miss A has been, you know, saving up her allowance a lot and um, I'm sure I'm gonna get some kickback from people <laughs> regarding this but John and I both um, as teens uh, we paid for our uh, driver's ed so it was just something that you know you had some skin in the game as far as like your investment in this you know big responsibility um, so taking the classes seriously taking the responsibility seriously and we have been giving Miss A um, $20 each week um, for her allowance and she's been with us quite a lot and you know we take care of all of her other needs so uh, really she's just been like you know a, she's done a really great job of saving so we started talking to her parents about like you know hey by by our research this is the you know qualifications um, if she wants to like go down this path and here's what we were thinking you know do you want her to go ahead and get started on her driver's ed so that you know she can get those completed and you know then you guys can take her to get her temporary permit like we had those conversations um, we also talked about you know uh, the financial responsibility of driver's ed because it is a significant cost and we you know want to stay consistent with any other teens who come into our home 
home um, and for our children because our kids, you know, when Darcy and Sawyer are old enough, you know, they're gonna be paying for their driver's ed too. So we wanted to have some consistency and honestly, just realistically, we wouldn't be able to, you know, cover driver's ed for every teen who comes in and is looking to, you know, get their driver's license. So we talked to our parents and said, you know, hey, like this is where we stand, um, but ultimately it's your decision. Like, do you want, do you want her to pay for her, her driver's ed? Do you want to chip in, you know, blah, blah, blah. So they worked out all of those details and now we're on board and today is the day where she's going to get signed up for driver's ed. So there is 24 hours of online uh, training that happens. And so um, the goal here is that before she uh, goes home, that she completes that 24 hours and then um, her parents will take her to get that temporary license. And, you know, if, if they're comfortable with it, you know, she can drive with us, you know, until she goes home. And then like, you know, her and her parents can be driving um, as visitations increase. I'm sure I'm leaving some things out, um, but, but just know that like this is a, big discussion between us, um, Miss A, her family, um, and just keeping the caseworkers notified and, you know, up to date with that information. These big decisions you really don't want to take lightly. You don't want to just, oh, she's in our house, you know, it's our rules. You know, that's not really gonna help things, you know, for, for the for the child, for the family and all that. All right, so I have my salmon and my asparagus. I'm gonna pop this in and go back to work. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what else we have planned for today. All right, today did not go as planned. Um, John and I actually had to pick up Sawyer early because um, he spiked a little bit of a fever. He has a little bit of like, uh, like, it's like an abscess and uh, it's not pretty and he's in a lot of pain and he's pretty pitiful. Um, but that kind of threw our day for a loop. Uh, but Miss A and I did get to go shopping. Um, some of our plans were cut short partially because I didn't plan appropriately, but um, we did pick up her siblings some uh, Christmas gifts, just some like little things from Five Below. So we'll show you what we got, um, some pretty cute stuff there, and I'm about to take her over to the computer and uh, get her signed up for her driver's ed classes. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, this, $5, Five Below, well done. Nice little skateboard. Also have a cool coloring book. Little keychain, drawing markers. What is this again? For your clip on selfie light. Oh, it's a light? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, Five Below has everything. I picked out these uh, for one of her sisters. I think these are so cute. Like baby nail press-ons. So I told them how like you were kind of on the fence of if you wanted to drive or not, or like wait till you're 18. You want to tell them like, like what you were thinking? It just didn't make sense to do it. Well, at the time, yeah, because I had saved up all this money, like I didn't save it for a reason. But then it's like, oh yeah, you got something. It's super expensive. Yeah. So now you're broke, and <laughs> you saved money for nothing. But you saved it for a driving. Well, that's what it felt like. Yeah. Most kids spend their money and save nothing. Oh, yeah. So. That's like a good problem for you to have that you save and don't want to spend it. <laughs> what was like your main reason? Was it like the freedom thing? Like to be able to be the kid with the car and like go anywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like the school I'm going back to is basically like, oh, you know, Miss A, like, can I get a ride? I'm like, no, it's like, no. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess, or whatever. You go, you got gas money. <laughs> For every like birthday and Christmas from now on, we're just gonna give you gas money. Cause that's like. That's all I'm gonna ask for, like some money, please. Yeah. Gift cards, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it, keep you able to drive. And then she was worried when I originally told her like what she had to do to like uh, get the license with like the test. She was like scared. She's like, what if I fail? What if I fail? Yes, I, I'm the type that like it could be super easy, but because I overthink, mm -hmm. I'm be like, like you can ask me like, is one plus one two? If five plus five is ten, and I'll be like, huh? Uh, <laughs> yes, right? Like you're second guessing it. Yeah. But then like a week after that, you like pulled up a, like a practice test, and you were like, oh, I know this, and you were just zooming through. 
There were some signs that were kind of tricky. I did not know half of those signs. Yeah, honestly, I haven't seen those signs, so that was that was pretty tricky. The slippery when wet one. That was tricky. It said it on the sign. It said yeah, it said on the sign, and I'm like, I'm thinking it's like like a steep turn, like you know how we go down that mm -hmm. one hill and it's that big old curve. That's what yep. I think it is, and you you thought it was too. I know. It's and like then I zoomed in and it said it said slippery wet, so I'm gonna kick slippery wet. <laughs> And it was it's super too wet. easy, but you can see how like it's, it's not that hard, right? Like, yeah. And that's what the tests are for, or like what the driver's class is for. We still gotta go clothes shopping, so I owe you a trip to TJ Maxx because you gotta get some stuff, and we might go ahead and pick out some outfits for for your siblings. <laughs> This looks like fun. I can just imagine Darcy yeah, yeah. on it. Maybe we shouldn't show Darcy that there's a mini skateboard. Yeah, we gotta find him more stuff because this was the only thing that we found for him. It, so. was, it was some good stuff, but I knew he was gonna hit me with it. So I was. Oh, yeah, that's true. The boxing gloves. There were like these boxing gloves, and I was like, oh, that'd be really cool because like he had like, you know, blah, 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 but she didn't want him to hit. And it was it. So Miss A is planning on being home before Christmas, so that means that we're celebrating early, and also we're gonna be uh, sending stuff for her family as well. Got some really cute things, these cute little bracelets for her siblings. Ooh, look at that. So pretty, came with some stickers, it's Pure Vita. And my mommy. And her mommy. Got a couple for her, cause she likes colorful things. So I'm in the shopping mode because it kind of distracts me from everything else that's going on. But um, now we're gonna go ahead and get her signed up. She's gonna get started on her classes. We'll keep you updated on that because the goal is that she gets all the online stuff done uh, before she heads home. And in the meantime, um, her parents can go ahead and get her a uh, temporary, temporary permit uh, so that she can start driving with them. I do want to mention that next week on Wednesday, November 18th at 11 a.m. Eastern, I'm going to be on with the minimal mom. Her name is Dawn, and uh, she is doing a Facebook Live where she's inviting uh, different YouTubers to come on and you know answer questions and talk about different things. So her channel is really freaking awesome, and I'm going to link it below. Check her out and also check us out on Wednesday. Uh, it'll be Facebook Live, so the details will be below. See you guys next time.